Hi guys, hopefully all is uh, trying to reconnect its sound here. So listen guys, if you can hear me, uh, please let me know. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback in relation to, we're supposed to be Facebook Live. It's saying we're doing something. I'm not entirely sure whether you can hear me okay. Um, I'm using a specific microphone and some headphones together. It's the first time to do it. So if you can hear me okay, just uh, and you're on, please just acknowledge me and let us know uh, before we go through this, um, because I'm in two minds, and that's the title of of the actual uh, Facebook Live this evening. Uh, now, what am I talking about when I'm in two minds? Well, first of all, uh, I've been going through a great program, uh, which is involving people like Tony Robson, Dean, uh, I can never say Dean's second name properly, so I'm not going to even mention it, okay? Um, but uh, we we do have two minds, and I, I've been studying um, Jim Rowan, Jim Rowan, who is uh, Tony Robson's mentor, and uh, I've been lucky enough to get my hands in a, a program where Tony is is doing that. And I'm going to share uh, some of the insights with you a little bit later on. Uh, about what that is and what's coming up in that because it's very very exciting okay but for the meantime what i want to do is just talk to you about um obviously positivity positive thinking how it affects yourself in your life your, it could be anything to do with your family your health it could be anything to do with uh, finances or it could be just something that you want to do is it, itself in the sporting arena or something like that but um a number of years back I walked into a shop and uh, I picked up a book that was just lying on the shelf and it was to do with hypnotism at the time um, and that book was uh, from Paul McKenna. I don't know whether you've heard of Paul McKenna before but Paul McKenna was a hypnotist and I took home this book and I must see if I can find it to show it to you and um, it was almost like done in an A4 size booklet so it stood out from a lot of the other books it was in a secondhand store and um, I took it home and I was fascinated by you know Paul at that stage he was doing some work on the TV as a personality and stuff like that and he was talking about you know uh, the, how he operated the hypnotism what went on behind the scenes of the hypnotism and how he could actually make people do these kind of seem the crazy things um, and and that was a great book because it was a very visual book and because there was a TV show of him doing it he kind of had some pictures of TV shows but as I flicked through that he was talking about overcoming fears and phobias he was over talking about people who could put tarantulas on their skin like they never picked up a spider before but they could always 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 a sudden be able to do this um, and and through the, I got fascinated by it and he he was talking about the power of the mind and the concept of the mind and the two minds that we have that we operate every single day now most people probably aren't aware that we have two minds but we do actually have two minds um, and you can read some some great books on, on this subject if you really want to go into depth there's a real classic one called uh, cyber cybernetics a little bit heavy but it, it goes in and explains how how it all works and how all the can you know the reactions of the brain work and stuff like that now i'm not going to go into that today but i'm just going to talk to you about the two aspects of of the brain what they can do the, sorry the not the brain the subconscious mind okay and um, which is all up here and i i know this from uh we used to do corporate events and stuff like that and um, so what i would do is i would um bring in a hypnotist uh from uh the northern ireland donald was his name he had his, his own stage uh presence and he would hypnotize audiences and stuff like that so we'd have a little bit of fun from that perspective in relation to you know entertaining people through the the whole thing of his hypnosis but during the process of learning a bit more and diving a bit more in depth about this you discover that there's two areas in the minds so uh, we have the subconscious mind 
uh, and the conscious mind. Now, again, I'm not going to go into the scientific uh, ex experiments of this. There's a lot more people well qualified for them. And I suggest that you read the material and the books to understand that. OK, but if you if you think of the subconscious mind, OK, uh, that is something that you can program that is probably been programmed without you realizing every single day. So let's say, for example, that you have uh, listened to the news every day. OK, so you, what you're doing is your mind is taking on board that information, it's processing that information, it's storing that information and it never goes away. So it's compressed with inside your mind, your brain power. And this is why we kind of have dreams and stuff like that. You might have a nightmare about something because you've seen it before. Well, the subconscious mind is, is just exactly that. By the way, if you can hear me, just let me know, because um, I, first of all, two things happen here. I've got the screen open here just to see whether we can see people um, that are coming on board. So apologies, I can't see you from the device I'm using here. So if you are on board, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and I just see if I can refresh the screen here to see whether it's broadcasting simultaneously uh, through Facebook. And then I might be able to see who's who's with us and who isn't. OK. Um, so, okay, who have we got? Two minds. I'm in two minds. Daft. Good evening to you. Hopefully all is well with you. So we were talking about the subconscious mind. Uh, uh, the subconscious mind doesn't really know the difference between the truth and the lie. You can, and this is what the hypnotist does. He actually just makes people relax, go into their subconscious mind, close their eyes, count back from 10, do some deep breathing processing to relax you and and then he'll bring you through a stage where he then has control but imagine if you could take control over that thought process so it can put anything in there i can put it in uh, on the world's greatest athlete now the thing is if i don't i can put that in there all day but if i don't operate like the world's greatest athlete it's not going to happen so you need a bit of both okay and the subconscious mind really just takes in everything that you say. So from the day that you were born, you may have heard the word no over and over again. You've taken on board uh, th that process. So if somebody has said to you that you can't do something, you, you automatically assume that you can't do it because you're being programmed uh, from, from the mind. And there may be something that you want to do, and then all of a sudden you go to do it, and then you remember your subconscious mind kicks in and says, "Hang on a second, I was telling you before that you you've heard this, you couldn't do it over and over again," and that thought process plays in the mind and goes around and actually produces what you have out. Now, the conscious mind is is slightly different. The conscious mind is kind of more critical. It's more. You know, it questions things a lot. It, it, the a good example of the subconscious mind was would be that when you're learning how to drive, if you or if you're driving in a new, brand new area, and you're unfamiliar with the roads, or you're learning how to drive, and you back out, you back out of the driveway. You're very cautious in relation to what you're doing, and suddenly a kid is playing out in the street, and the ball just trickles out on the road. Well we put our foot in the brake and that's our that's our conscious mind kicking in there telling us hang on a second this is this is wrong this is this is you know something that's going on there now the subconscious mind doesn't really care about about that process okay now, in other words over a period of time when you learn how to drive and you learn to be a bit more relaxed in relation to what you're doing you could almost drink a coffee reverse out the back right oh by the way don't try this uh, reverse out the back driveway and zoom off and you automatically be able to take the route that you've been taken uh, to to the workplace or or whatever you may be going on a regular basis and that's because your thought process is already in in that area now the subconscious mind is moving when you're driving like relaxed and you've you know taken a sip of coffee and all that kind of stuff but that's the subconscious mind it automatically kicks in and it automatically takes over, especially when you're driving and stuff like that and autopilot. When something runs out in front of you, let's say, for example, I just saw a video there the other day of a deer jumping. Actually, this, this happened to us. We were driving uh, one of the back roads from where I li live. And I for, for ages, I'd seen this sign on the side of the road saying deer, you know, as in real animal deer, okay? And I didn't pay, I obviously, been down that route so many times before 
that it really didn't kick in you know it's just kind of oh, i've seen it there yeah yeah I haven't haven't been you know it's always been there and then all of a sudden i have my son in the back of the car strapped in and we're going somewhere to do something and we're driving down the same stretch of road again and a deer actually jumped the hedge and landed right straight in front of us and i slammed on and the deer just kind of bounced off the other bounced bounced off nothing just bounced it, it, off the road again over the other edge and kept going now that's when the conscious mind kicked in the subconscious mind was actually driving the car because i'd known how to do it been on that road before uh, had done it many times before and it simply was kicking into gear and then the conscious mind suddenly kicked in straight away said there's something wrong here boom with the brakes and that took over so if you can imagine that you're humming your favorite song and you know if i said like just take a title all you need is and without question of doubt a lot of people have said all you need is love and who sang that song if you've heard it before uh, it's the beatles uh, you could take a, a more recent up-to-date one and you could do something by ed sheeran you know and say the same thing to a kid and they know it because it's repetitive it's been played out on the radio not just once but it's been played out over and over and over again and that seeps into the subconscious mind and this is how it actually works so you're actually being programmed from everything that you do so the tv channels the news channels uh if you if you actually sit there and looked at the news totally uh all day long and that's all you did you would actually go insane because there are programs everything that you put inside your mind is a program it's a tv program it's a program that you, you you're going to do so the mind doesn't understand that all it does is it takes on board the information and if you put enough good stuff in your mind you're going to get good stuff out and that reflects them and everything else that you do and the same thing if you put garbage in okay you're going to get that garbage out it's just a process it's just the way it is and if you know then that you can make this work for you you can change your circumstances and the circumstances change your thought process so your thought process uh, changes the action and therefore we get a better result from where we're going now why am i telling you all this is because uh, during the process of attending lots of seminars and like like the events like tony robson and stuff like that uh hi chris how are you doing good to see you and um, by attending all these i've lost my train of thought yeah by attending a lot of these uh, seminars over you know the period of time what we found is that i've seen olympic coaches use this method of using their subconscious mind to to actually produce gold medals now there was one that we one seminar that we went to it was a seminar back then by the way you used to have to go get an airplane get an airplane go to the venue get a hotel room and <laughs> queue for the, the space to get to see these people and then you eventually went to get it but it was, a lot of these were worth it because you, you got to really focus on winners and one of the one of the people that was speaking on stage was a gold medalist okay i can't recall her name straight off but she she was an olympic gold medalist and and during the process of her uh, training and um, the coach she would say to the coach is oh you know it's always at the last bit it's always at the last bit that i just don't manage to get across the line on time you know there's a, there's always something going on or you know it's just a bit bad luck or something like that and the coach would work with her and then um, uh, he worked with her in this particular area and he got to realize that she was an athlete if you had looked at her uh, statistics statistically on the piece of paper you would say everything that she was doing was absolutely spot on she should be a gold uh, medalist and she should have accomplished it by now but the thought process of her mind was keeping her and holding her back from where she could be. And what they did is they worked on that. They, they, they used a principle called self-talk, which is basically telling yourself that you're going to get 
you know you're going to reach your maximum reward you're going to become a gold medalist see yourself already there and in, in this thought process put picture yourself already crossing the line with the gold medal and being presented on the platform and everything like that and she thought it was a bit hokey pokey at the start i don't know whether you know that word hokey pokey that was from a song wasn't it but basically she kind of went oh i'm not really sure and he said no trust me trust me try this process let's use the power of our mind our subconscious mind let's tap into that and she was doing absolutely everything else perfectly right she was going through every process and ticking off the box and then they 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 visualized it they used the principle of self-talk which is saying to yourself that you're you're a champion but there's no point in saying that to yourself unless you're actually doing the work necessary but she was okay and they changed the picture in her thought process and she changed the picture in her mind. She couldn't see herself with him beforehand. And therefore, when they worked on it using the power of the subconscious mind and the visualization technique that she did, when you combined, combined those two together, she was already in the arena. So when they gave her a tape uh, to listen to or an audio to listen to, she was listening to her already recorded her saying that she was already a champion that she'd already convinced to do this and that she'd basically won it now in more modern terms of people who have done, used this method and use it very very successfully is colin mcgregor next time you look at colin 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 mcgregor the irish lad okay <laughs> all right from the same area that i was from okay grew up in working class area in dublin but uh he uses the power of subconscious mind beyond belief okay now the only other person that i've seen do this uh in that kind of same sporting arena was muhammad ali if you look at back at some of muhammad ali's uh methods of of winning the actual championship the boxing and everything like that muhammad ali would tell people that he was going to win he would say to me he's going to win he played it in his mind over and over again and he used it colin mcgregor uses the same thought process he uses the same law of attraction whatever you want to call it but he's using the power of his subconscious mind even before he goes into the arena he's actually won you know there was one of the times where Colin was uh taught in an interview he had said that he will knock this guy out at this time in this round and he did it and he did it and he consistently used those methods over and over again to do that now I, I saw a interview recently with himself and and Tony Robson and Tony had him out speaking at one of the events and that kind of stuff and this is the this is the the thought process process that he had got from his sister who gave him the book called The Secret now The Secret he thought was a whole lot of non nonsense he didn't really get the whole thing of the law of attraction and he said oh it's just a nonsense it's nonsense and this is before he won his championship is before he did anything like that and his sister said no you've got to get your hands on the book the secret okay and uh, he uh, he said he was playing around with it toying around with it you know and then he said well okay well let's give this a shot let's give it a go you know so he started doing as they say in the secret go to go and look for the 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 closest car parking space when you get to the shopping center she uses this example when you get to the shopping center or the mall in the united states that they call it you will find a car space close to that area and and colin started to use this technique and he said look let's give it a go i'm not to lose and uh, he said he used it for that and then he started to get some sort of success not all the time but some sort of success from it but then he started to implement that and he started it to use that then uh, in relation to his um his his own major sporting arena and they use that and he has you know if you look at it today he's a mind coach he has this coach he has that coach he's a mentor for this he's a mentor for that and he's basically using the power of the subconscious mind so um now let's face it okay there there is challenges that come your way okay and sometimes it catches you on the blind side okay so i've had some challenges okay i'm not gonna lie about that i'm gonna say i'm the human being too and you'll get like that and sometimes you 
you lose focus of where you're going, especially when everything is out of your control. I was going to do another video on this called Out of Your, out of your Control. And, and sometimes life gets so messed up, okay? Messed up. So my life got messed up in relation to health. <clears throat> I back pain for oh, 15, 20 years. And a lot of people don't know this, but I actually had, um, you know, a lot of severe back pain. I'm not just talking about uh, back pain like, oh, ooh, uh, you know, I couldn't get out of the bed in the morning. I had to crawl down my hands and my knees to, to, to get where I want to go to the bathroom, that kind of stuff. Um, I I had lots of uh, massages, therapy, chiropractors, you name it, uh, working on me uh, just to maintain me. And then I went and got the operation done. So I got the operation done. It was very successful, by the way. Um, and then two months after, just this is, by the way, at the height of COVID, without any vaccines, uh, I went back into the hospital again two months after that uh, to get the neck done. So the neck, the back, and uh, at the moment, I've gone through a lot of what's known as vertigo. So um, I could basically stand up. I'm like a drunken Irish man not having a, a drink. And it's it's a bit challenging and it's a bit tiring. So I come on, do these videos when I can, and then I'll go and rest. Uh, that's why I haven't been consistent doing the videos. And that's why I haven't been around for six months, okay? Because it's just been draining. So you'll always get that. But during the process of that, I kind of, I kind of slipped. I kind of slipped. I start. I stopped using the principles that I'd learned before because up to the point point of the months gone by, I basically stopped using the power of subconscious mind. I stopped using the visualization to to flip it and get better. I stopped using that, and I almost became like the these things aren't in my control. You know what is it? condition that i have what is it what you know where's the specialist where did not and then there was there was breakdown and kind of stuff as well happening along the way so i stopped using the the power of the subconscious mind now i start to use it again i start to flip that around and and say to myself uh, i am getting stronger <laughs> okay um i am balanced okay so i, I gotta do this and then i gotta visualize it and I do some deep breathing and, and use some of the thought processes that I learned through this hypnosis uh, to, to get me to feel better about who I am and what I do. So I have been absorbed in this for a long time. And I believe that, you know, some people would say, oh, that's a bit hokey pokey, you know what I mean, or whatever. But I believe if you invest in you, invest, not just invest like, in one book and pick it up and, and leave it in the cupboard but invest really truly invest in it invest in the thought process invest in the actions invest in what you need to do to the next step once you invest in yourself you, you will you will get places that you never thought possible okay and behind me here i say this every video that i have it says formal education will make you live in self-education will make you a fortune we had that printed out had it on the wall there it reminds me over and over again the importance of educating yourself so that you can get better results in your life now th that is actually a quote by jim Rohn. Uh, i don't know whether you can see that there but it is there and jim was tony robson's mentor wow i didn't realize that i was listening to jim Rohn uh, for for years and didn't realize that but anyway the reason why i'm saying that is because tony is uh i've i've been very fortunate to be given access to one of tony's up and coming courses um which is great and i've learned quite a bit from the program um which is very laser focused by the way um and it goes through depth a lot of stuff a lot of great material in relation to help you achieve your dreams and your goals and your aspirations but not just uh kind of hokey pokey stuff this is really solid stuff you know uh, i took a few notes from earlier and uh, he talks about things like how to add value how can you as an individual add value you know um and then he just talks about could you make could you deliver over deliver some stuff to people 
to help them with their own process. And if you can help enough other people get what you want, you'll have everything that you want. If you help enough other people get what they want, you'll have what you want. And I think that was Sig Ziglar that said that, if I'm not mistaken. But um, then he went on to talk about, you know, the thought process. This is only the first couple of videos. Uh, the thought process of you earning, could you earn more money in a shorter period of time than what you are in your current job? And then they talked about things like, could you earn five times that in that job process? And could you earn 10 times that? Uh, and and also up to that point, a lot of people are not even thinking about the top process. But this is just like in the first couple of kind of intros that he's talking about this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, and then he talks about working harder on yourself than you do on your job. Working harder on yourself than you do on your job. Uh, and uh, it took me for a while to understand that. Um, now, I'd heard Jim Rohn saying that before. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And what's he talking about? Well, he's talking about adding value. You, When you work on something, you're working on it to add value to what you do. So... Uh, Chris Farrell is watching me this evening and Chris Farrell was my very first mentor online. Chris Farrell was the person that I hooked up with uh, and found a very good at teaching what he's doing. Hi Chris, okay. Um, and with that said, Chris took me through a process of training where I made my first $27 on the internet. And you know what? Th that was probably... Uh, the best actually feeling in the world because you know here I was at home working god knows how many hours because it was much harder back then uh, to do this and to to learn the skills but Chris is a very good teacher and he's very good at what he does so I like to surround myself with OQP only quality people as Les Brown says and um, and he taught me the process but he brought me through a process of, of, of doing it uh, Tony does the same thing here. Um, but once you understand the process, everything becomes so much more easier and uh, clearer to, to oneself as well. And um, Chris brought me through that process and I was up till God knows what hours in the morning, three o'clock in the morning sometimes, listening to Chris Farrell. He was probably snoring his head off, by the way. <laughs> but I was listening. I was willing to pay the price to learn the material to go on and do that and I've, I've made other commissions i made some great commissions doing what i'm doing um you know they were instead of being 27 dollars they became hundreds and so forth and so forth and then i went on to build an amazon business and that was based on starting something learning something um implementing something and then going out because you add value to you in the marketplace so imagine if you could just simply uh, get a course learn a course that is of value to a company or somebody that you want to work with well if you learn the marketing skills uh, uh, from somebody uh, like Chris like Tony or like uh, who's that other guy as well that has uh, yeah Russell Brunson yeah okay um, you know, if you were to learn from these people, they, they, they have a way to, you know, help you develop your skills, take your skills out of your place. Like Russell had uh, gone through some stuff with Russell as well. Uh, he has a book called Expert Secrets where you can take what you know, package it, put it into a, a course or content and sell that on the Internet, you know. Um, so, I mean, there's. Tremendous. He has traffic secrets. He's dot com secrets. He's a lot of lot of good information there, and and this this process will help you get you from where you want to go from point A to point B. But it all goes back to the mindset, you know. And during the during access to the the course that I've gone through, and I just have to say, wow, you you know, it's a, it's a refresher for me. It's it's given me the uh, injection, if I can say that word, to. Once again, rekindle the light to to moving forward, and you know, the, uh, it, it's not just these. It's not just uh, Tony. It's not just Dean. It's not just Russell. It's it's many many people uh, over the period of time 
that have got me to to the point of me being able to maybe take some of the skills go on camera understanding the fear process imagine just using the power of the subconscious mind just to overcome that you know what i mean it's amazing you know um to, for me to set up a dj business at the time which i did for about 50 was it 15 20 years something like that we, we had voiceovers we had the voiceover business um and and now i have an online business where i work from that so these skills that you can learn can be f forever used in the future and employers will be over the moon if you could come in and literally save them hundreds of thousands in relation to what they're doing you could direct them in a way to do that and that's kind of all st started with just taking action understanding the power of the mind and understanding the subconscious mind so the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and a lie we think in pictures think of a banana what do you see you think in picture okay so if you could use pictures and you can use your thought process and you use a principle called uh, self-talk together you can literally reprogram all the negativity that you have so they say for every every negative thing every negative image every time somebody to told you you couldn't be successful you've got to replace that by 17 17 times of positivity you know and it's not just positivity but there's action steps in order for you to do to do these things you can break up you can break up say something that's happened to you that's bothering you and you can put it into a million people pieces and just scatter it and that's using a thought process along with some techniques that i learned uh, to eliminate the negativity turn it into black and white and just blow it up into a million pieces and then you can bring back the positivity you need to be able to allow the positivity back in so it's giving you the energy back in through your soul and now through the person who you really are uh the the person there inside you and you just need that confidence it gives you the confidence then to sit up straight chest out ready to go if you want to be the champion of the world in colin mcgregor's thing not just look at connor doing the shapes that you could that would be stage one because he's very good at that right but look at what he's saying what he's doing the actions he's taken to get there and the other athletes are doing the actions but connor knows about the subconscious mind and he knows how to use that to the power of him picking up the medals him winning over and over again and sometimes there's just that edge, isn't there? Just that edge where people think, oh, he's not going to do it. He couldn't do it again. And he does it again. And he does it again. And he does it again. And he repeats that process over and over again. You know? And that's what gets him where he wants to go. So if if somebody like that can do it, and I must try and dig out that interview for you and post it on the Facebook page about Colin McGregor and Tony talking because that was that was something else if you haven't seen that you've probably seen it on youtube but if you haven't seen it uh, i might post that as well it's just it's, it's incredible so that's what i want to talk to you about today um i value understand that this world that we live in is a crazy world okay i'm not just saying that because as i'm saying it and they're from D dublin as well it's a great song that actually how can i protect you in the crazy world if you haven't listened to that just listen to it it's, it, it's good uh, there's some horrific things going on in the world but we have to control our thought process and not be dragged in the direction of somebody else's programs Um, you know you could be tuned into the boris show you know the whole drama that goes with that and there's drama that goes with that and they 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 kind of tease you along to the next level and the next level and the next level and the next level whereas if you, i just talked about this uh in a program that we're talking about with goals and stuff like that if you've got your goals written down who cares what else goes on you know don't ignore the war the war is there it's real it's very very real but we can't allow us as human beings to be dragged down especially when we're not actually in that arena yes you can feel all the things and yes you, it's good it's good and it's important to know that stuff that's going on but we have to allow ourselves 
the opportunity to, to grow, especially after the two years that we had with coronavirus, especially after the war in Ukraine, especially after the crisis that's going on, especially after inflation that's going to hit, hit through the roof, uh, especially after health challenges, especially after everything else that's going on that's being crazy in the world, that you, you, you can build yourself from your soul upwards to become the person to say, you know what, I can give back so much more to this world and uh, that's that's what i'm doing here today so hopefully you get something of value if you did please uh like it and share it out with some other people as well that you feel that might benefit from this um that's it i mean you know i think i've done quite a bit today uh i did one earlier and if you haven't checked out from the start of the videos that i did from the start and you'd like to to go through them just message me okay and what i'll do is i'll just kind of send them to you in order because sometimes on facebook they can kind of get chopped around moved to different places all that kind of stuff so you just like to see those where we talked about the lessons of the season talked about the goal setting talked about uh lots of good stuff okay i can't even remember offhand what exactly you talked about but it, it, it's good okay so if you want to get your hands on that uh, just let us know okay and what just said have a wonderful evening stay safe and while everybody and remember as uh you know people say you've got greatness within you if you'd like to find out more about the tony robson side of things i've got some exciting news for you it's going to be coming out over the next couple of days it's going to be very very informative it's going to be no i better not say that uh, it's gonna be good okay okay i'm gonna tell you it's gonna be good and it's gonna be something that you really will enjoy so if you enjoy being around business people people that are pumped up that know the skills that can teach you where you want to go you don't want to miss this okay so with that said have a great evening and uh bye for now